Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the uh, Wakefield uh, Fieldhouse at Wakefield High School in Wakefield, Massachusetts, where tonight there'll be the first round playoff game for the Wilmington Wildcats who'll take on the Boston Latin Academy basketball team out of Boston. Uh, we'll be all set to get underway within about the next five minutes. And uh, this is going to be uh, Wilmington's first state uh, appearance in uh, about five years, uh, we'll say four years actually. Mike Lombard was the last guy in his junior year to uh, take Wilmington to the playoffs against Don Bosco where uh, they were knocked out in the first round. Hopefully they'll fare a little better here tonight against Boston Latin Academy. Uh, Paul Cadell will be working the camera tonight, the old workhorse. He's been plugging away for the last couple of weeks, uh, bringing you all the home games from Wilmington. And uh, there's a small crowd here right now. We had hoped there'd be a little better support from the town of Wilmington to get behind the team here. But maybe it'll fill in before uh, too long, close to rush hour. We know everybody's probably uh, heading over the highways towards home. Should be a good game. Uh, both teams just about evenly matched. I had a chance to talk to coach to a Jim McCune uh, earlier before the game, and uh, his feelings is, is is if that if the Wildcats stay in their game and uh, don't get rattled, and do the things that they're supposed to do, uh, they can hang in here with this team and hopefully pull out a big win. Uh, Boston uh, Latin Academy's record this year is 7-7 seven and seven in the Boston City League, which is a pretty good record for uh, the caliber of teams that they faced during the course of the year. So there's the uh, opening or the warning buzzer for both teams to get ready here for the uh, starting lineups, and uh, we're going to get ready to roll with the broadcast. So let's hear what they got to say down here on the floor. Okay, we got uh, we got a little bit of Wilmington support right now uh, than I thought we actually uh, did. It looks like uh, some people flocked in here in the last few minutes, and it's nice to see. Uh, we'll be giving you the starting lineups for the Wildcats in Boston Latin shortly. And what they're doing right now is going over the rules and regulations for the MIA tournament. And uh, it's a little lengthy, but it's something that's very important. I think that all the players on both teams, along with the fans, understand. Good sportsmanship is what they're talking about, and that's the important thing that Hopefully we see throughout all the playoff games and uh, we're getting ready for the National Anthem, so stand by. Thank you. the national anthem we're going to get ready to roll here the starting lineups for both teams 
from Latin Academy. Boston Latin visiting team. Get a nice round of applause from their fans. Leoris Bryant. Okay, Oris Bryant, number five to be starting. Another guard, number four, Anthony Pitts. He'll be the other guard starting for Boston Latin Academy tonight. Rodney Furman, number 10, will be in one of the forward slots for Boston Latin. And Robbie Fournier will be the other forward for Boston Latin. And here's the big guy, number 23, is Kevin Meehan. He'll be in the center position for the uh, Boston Latin Academy, whose nickname is the Dragon. Now here we go for the Wildcats from Wilmington, your home team. Starting guards will be John Lynch, senior, number 10. He'll be in one guard's position. The other guard position will be by senior Matt McManus. Here's Greg Maiella, senior forward. Dave Otis, a junior. He'll be at the other forward position. And here's the big guy, number 24. He's had a great year for the Wildcats. Eric Flynn, he'll be in the center position. Be interesting to see how we uh, develop right off the bat here. Uh, Wilmington's pattern has been to go inside to Eric Flynn. Go big, hopefully collapse the defense inside there. And uh, after that, uh, let the guards light it up or maybe some of the forwards throw in some of them long threes that they've been doing all year long. All right, we're just about set to go. Both teams out on the floor now. We're getting ready to jump it up. Referees checking with all the scorers play-by-play -play people and uh, here we go and good luck to the Wildcats let's see what they can do all right balls tip oop control by Latin okay that's a Bryant with the ball for Latin throws it over to Pitts Pitts is swinging it he gets it back over to Bryant down inside to Furman Furman shot no good Rebound, Flynn over to Mayella. Mayella with the quick pitch up to Dave Otis. Dave Otis throws up the three, bang! David Otis comes right out shooting. Frozen three, nice shot. He's been doing it all year. All right, Bryant with the ball for Boston Latin. Over the pitch back to Bryant. Bryant takes it down into the corner. He gets it over to Fournier. Fournier goes back up top to Pitts and Pitts connects. All right, John Lynch with the ball back over to Mayella. Over to McMahon, a quick swing up top to Flynn. Tried to find Otis coming across from the baseline, nothing there. Out of bounds, Boston Latin. It's gonna be Wilmington ball. Okay, Mayella with the ball for Wilmington. He gets it into Eric Flynn. Flynn try to roll inside, nothing there. Kicks it up high to McMahon, it's over to Mayella. He throws up a three off the back and top of the board. It's gonna be out of bounds. It's gonna be a Boston Latin ball. Furman to put it in. He gets it into Bryant. Bryant with the ball. He comes up, he's looking down inside. Nothing much there. He finds Furman. Furman tries to get it back to Bryant. He loses it off his hand. It's gonna be Wildcat ball. All right, Greg Mayella with the ball. He gets it into Eric Flynn. Eric takes it down strong, loses control for a minute, doubled up, makes a long pass to McManus, no good. It's something you don't want to see these guys get into right off the bat is that uh, long pass, cross court stuff, but you gotta settle down. All right. You got pitch at the ball over to Bryant. They're swinging the ball back and forth. They get into Fournier. Fournier, go to Bryant, the pits. The Furman, Furman throws up a three. Okay. All right, five, three, Boston Latin. John Lynch the ball, he finds Flynn, break it to the basket. Eric Flynn lays it up and in. We're all tied up here. All right, Bryant with the ball for Boston Latin. Over to Pitts. Pitts looking back over to Bryant. Back over to Pitts. Pitts takes a step in. 
He dumps it off to Fernia. Fernia's shot is good. 7-5, Boston Latin. McManus with the ball. He's got over to Mayella. Mayella back in a quick pitch to Lynch. Lynch got nothing there, but he finds Mayella going down the middle. Mayella pulls up, throws one off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound Bryant. Bryant on a quick... Oh, it looked like he traveled there. No, He throws it up off the backboard. It's in. He got 9-5. Here's Flynn on a breakout. He up. He misses, followed by Otis. A nice follow-up. Dave Otis scores his other basket. So 9-7, Boston Latin. 13 minutes to go here in the first half. Okay, Fournier with the ball again. Goes baseline. He kicks it across. There's Mayello on a steal. He lays it up off the back of the glass and in. Nice steal by Greg Mayella. And we're all tied up. All right, Bryant with the basketball. He brings it up. He's looking around, nothing there. He swings it over to Pitts. Pitts gets it down inside the Forney, back to Pitts. Pitts finds number 10. Furman coming across, his shot's no good. Rebound Wildcats. There's John Lynch with the ball. John brings it down, there's nothing there. He pulls it out and he gets it over to Mayella. Mayella over to McManus. McManus looking inside, there's nothing there. He's gonna pull it around, takes it in strong, throws a runner up, and it's good. All right, Matt McManus taking it to the hoop strong and a nice layup there. Bryant with the ball for Boston Latin. He's looking, he gets it over to Pitts. Back over to Bryant, Bryant throws up a three, bang, it's good, these guys are gonna have to jump out on him. Can't let them guys stand there and shoot all night. Here's Mayella with the ball for Wilmington. He's coming back strong. Nothing there. He pulls it up. He gets it to Lynch. Over to McManus. McManus looking around. He finds Mayella. Mayella's at the top three. Finds Lynch and a cut to the basket. Johnny lays it up off the glass and in. Nice cut. Nice pass there to John Lynch. And he's got his first bucket of the night. All right. 13-12. Wildcats. Bryant with the ball. He gets it to Fournier. Fournier back out to Bryant. Tipped away and almost stolen by Flynn, but it went off his hands. But back to Bryant. There's a rebound on the other side, and we're going to have a foul. Furman rebounded the ball for Boston Latin. He's going to be fouled by Dave Otis. All right, so Furman's going to go to the line. He's going to be shooting two. We got 11 minutes and 19 seconds to go, and the Wildcats leading this one 13 to 12. Both teams still trying to get on track here. All right, Furman's first shot is no good. He's going to get one more. He's ready. He dips, he shoots. Bang, it's good. All right, we're all tied up at 13 apiece. There's a tip away, and it's going to go out of bounds. Almost stolen by Furman on that play. The Wilmington ball underneath. Otis to put it in play for the Wildcats. All right, Otis throws it into Flynn. He swings it up top to Stokes. Back in the corner, Otis. Otis throws up a three from the corner. Nothing there, and we're going to have a foul on Johnny Lynch over the back. All right, that's when we did second foul. You got Bryant with the ball for Boston Latin, bringing it up the floor. Breaks between two guys. He dips it over in the corner to Furman, back out to Bryant. Bryant throws up a three, no good. Rebound out to Stokes. Stokes on a push. He finds Otis in the corner. Otis pulls up, nothing there. Finds Flynn going in the backside. And we're going to have a foul on number 12. Sansis, I believe. All right, that's going to be... That's going to be Boston Latin's first foul. Flynn's going to go to the line shoot two. His first one is off the front of the rim and goes in. All right, 14-13, Wilmington. Eric Flynn's going to get one more. He dips, he shoots. Off the front of the rim, no good. Tipped up into Boston Latin's hands. Controlled by number 23, Meehan. All right, who we got here? We got number four, Pitts with the ball. 
over to Bryant, back over to Pitts, down at the Sanchez. Back out to Pitts, over to Bryant. He goes to force the pass inside, blocked away and knocked away by Eric Flynn. Meehan with the ball, back out to Pitts. Pitts back up top to Bryant. Bryant with the ball over to Pitts. Pitts looking to go inside, nothing there. He swings it outside to Furman. Furman back over to Bryant. Bryant takes it in strong, throws it up off the glass and a runner, and it's good. All right, 15-14 Latin. Here's Otis with the ball. Takes it in, nice wheel and move. No good. They're gonna have a knock out of bounds off David Otis's hands. It's gonna be Boston Latin ball. Substitutions. We got Lynch and Otis going out, and they're replaced by uh, Dan Golden and uh, Greg Mayer are back in the ball game for Wilmington. All right, here's Pitts with the ball. Over to Bryant. Bryant looking, gets it into Sanchez. Sanchez looking, he kicks it back up to Bryant. Bryant tries to dip it in, it's stolen away by Flynn. Kicks it back to Stokes. Stokes on a quick push. Looks long, he's got McManus in the corner. Not the near. All right, it's going to be off Bryant's hand. Be Wilmington ball on the side. Greg Mayella to put the ball in play for the Wildcats. He gets it into McManus. McManus brings it up top. All right. McManus looks in the corner. He finds Golden. Back up top to McManus. Over to Mayella. Back to McManus. Over to Golden. Golden going to throw up a three. Off the rim, no good. Tipped up by Mayella. It's good. Nice follow up by Greg Mayella. It's 16-15, Wilmington with nine minutes to go here in the first half. All right, Bryant with the ball for Boston Latin. He brings it up top, swings it down inside to Furman. Furman throws up a three. Somebody got to get out on that guy. All right, McManus with the ball. He looks up, he finds Flynn. Flynn, nothing there, gives it back to McManus. McManus takes it strong, pulls up, throws a runner off the glass. It's good, Matt McManus, nice shot. We're all knotted up here, 18 apiece with 8 minutes and 37 seconds to go. Here's Meehan. He throws one up from up top. Rebound, Flynn. Flynn gets it over to Stokes. Stokes on a quick push, finds Golden in the middle. Danny lost the ball, gets it back. On the floor, he throws it up. No good. Stokes knocks it back out to McManus. Mayella with a three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Stokes with the ball, he kicks it out to McManus. Here's Danny Golden with a three. It's off the front side of the rim, no good. Off Mayella's hands out of bounds, and it's going to be Boston Latin ball. All right, not a bad sequence there for Wilmington. Sanchez putting it in play for uh, Boston Latin. He gets it over to Bryant. Bryant with the ball, bringing it up. He's looking around. Okay, he finds Pitts. Pitts with the ball up high. Telling Furman to come up. Furman comes up. He gets it over to Bryant again. He takes it in, rolling around everybody. And we're going to have a reach-in foul, I believe, on Eric Flynn. All right, we got a foul on Flynn. That's uh, Wilmington's third foul. All right, we're going to have Bryant at the line shooting two. Okay, Brian's first shot off the rim is no good, and uh, I think we're seeing a pattern that's going to take place here tonight. If you noticed, uh, pretty tough to see from home, but they don't have breakaway rims down here at Wakefield. They're solid and uh, just bouncy, bouncy. All right, Golden with the ball for Wilmington into Flynn. Flynn rolling to the inside strong, lays it up, no good. Followed by Mayella. He throws in another one. All right, that's six for Mayella, 2019 Wilmington, seven minutes, 30 seconds to go here in the first half. Bryant with the ball to Fernier. He throws one off. No good. Here's a tip out, almost taken by Wilmington. Pitch with the ball over to Bryant. He throws one up. No good. A tip up by me and no good. Here's a tip out again back to Pitts. Pitts pushing off there. No call. Meehan with the ball. Looked like he went out of bounds. Another no call. All right. Finally, you get Bryant with the ball way up top in Disney World. He brings it up top into the middle. Swings it over to Furman. Furman loses the ball. Here's Golden with the ball for Wilmington. Golden looking to get it up and over. He gets it over. He finds Mayella. Mayella fakes a shot. Goes in strong. No good. Rebound. Flynn 
Flynn lays it up and in. All right, 22-19, Wilmington, six minutes and 40 seconds to go. Here's Bryant with the ball, Boston Latin. He finds Furman in the corner, he throws up another three. Tom Peck with the rebound, he finds a long pass out to McManus, tipped away by Pitts off his, uh, McManus's hands, and Bryant has the ball for Boston Latin. He gets it back out to Pitts, Pitts fiddling, diddling there, tries to go behind the back. Here's Mayella going strong, we're gonna have a push off on Bryant here. All right, that's Bryant's first. That's Boston Latin's second. John Lynch back in the ball game. He replaces McManus. All right, Lynch with the ball. He gets it back over to Mayella. Mayella back over to Golden. Golden throws up a long three. Too far out for Danny on that one. He should have stepped up a little. Bryant with the ball for Boston Latin. He finds me and over to Bryant. Bryant takes it in strong, throws up a runner. In and out, no good. Off of Flynn's hand, and Bryant pulls it out again. Wilmington's gonna have to start controlling the ball a little there. They're losing it all the time. Here's Pitts with the ball. Pitts over to Furman. Almost stolen away by Miel. He finds me, and the is gonna be called for traveling. Nice call there by the ref, right on top of his game there. All right, and we got a timeout being called by Boston Latin. Coach for Boston Latin, I think, uh, gonna go into a little showtime performance here. His troops down, try to get him into their game. And Coach McCune down here on the uh, Wilmington bench is doing the same thing. He's just basically explaining to the Wildcats on uh, what they have to continue to do to stay in a close ball game here. It's 22-19, Wilmington with five minutes and 34 seconds to go. Uh, Wilmington playing at a nice pace right now. Uh, maybe a little more control of the boards. They've lost a couple of nice key rebounds in there that were uh, that led to some quick baskets uh, by Boston Latin Academy, but uh, that's gonna happen in any game. And uh, they're playing tough, they're playing hard. And uh, we'll see what they can do when they come out here with five minutes and 34 seconds to go and they're up by three. Uh, it's been a good clean game so far. Wilmington's uh, fouled three times, and Latin's only fouled twice. John O'Reilly's in the ball game now, replacing Eric Flynn. Here's Mayella with the ball for Wilmington. Mayella with the ball, he swings it over to John Lynch. Inside to Peck. Peck takes it in strong. All right, we're gonna have a blocking foul. On number one, that's going to be on Fournier. All right. Tommy Peck's going to go to the line. He'll be shooting two. Tommy's all set. All right, he dips. He shoots. Off the side of the rim and no good. He's going to get one more. These are the ones you like to see everybody connect on. All right, Tommy's ready. He dips, he shoots. That one's good. All right, 23-19 Wilmington with five minutes and 14 seconds to go. Bryant with the ball for Boston Latin. He's asking Pitts to come out. Pitts a little slow getting out there. Now he's got the ball back over to Bryant. Wilmington playing some good D, keeping them outside here. Looks like they're in a 2-1-2. Two, two. Now they're slotting back into a 1-2-2. Lynch on the ball. All right, there's Pitts with the ball. They're keeping Latin out high where they want to keep him. Bryant there makes a nice move around, finds me and break it to the basket, and he lays it up and in. All right, that's his first two of the night. All right, 23-21, Wilmington. Lynch with the ball for the Wildcats. He finds Mayella right across in the middle. All right, and we get Bryant coming up on the backside trying to steal the ball, and he's going to be on the arm. Okay, that's his second. It's gonna be Wilmington ball on the side. Mayella to put it in play. He gets it into John Lynch. Lynch coming around the outside, tries to find O'Reilly, but it's knocked away by Bryant on a sloppy pass there. Bryant with the ball, finds Pitts. Pitts goes baseline, dipping. Goes all around, a lot of work, nothing there, but Meehan follows it up. There's a big turnover, turns the points. 
All right, Lynch with the ball over to Otis, back to Lynch. Down low into Tommy Peck. Tommy getting up in there. Moves around with the ball, he loses it. It's still gonna be Boston Latin ball, okay. Brennan with the ball, he gave it back over to Bryant. Bryant's got Fournier off to the side, back to Bryant over to Fournier. Fournier throws up one, no good. Strong rebound in there by Fournier. They're gonna have a foul on Peck underneath for Wilmington and Meehan will be going to the line. Okay. That's the fourth on uh, Wilmington and there's four on Latin and we're all knotted up here. We got four fouls apiece and we get the tie score 23 apiece. Three minutes and 40 seconds to go. Meehan's first shot is good. All right. He'll get one more. Puts it to the floor. He's set. He dips. He shoots. It's off the front of the rim. No good. Knocked outside and friend picks it up. Here's Pitts with the ball. Goes to take it strong inside. Looks like a little carry there, but no call. Bryant with the ball for Boston Latin over to Pitts. Pitts finds Fournier way in the corner back out to Bryant over to Pitts. It went over his head, but it's uh, picked up by Freeman. Freeman over to Pitts, back out to Bryant. Bryant's looking around, nothing there. He kicks it up high to Pitts. Pitts takes it strong down the middle. Knocked away by Lynch, and they're going to call a foul. Looked like Johnny had all ball, but uh, we're not making the calls from up here. They're being made from down below. All right, McManus is set to check back in the game for Wilmington. He's going to replace O'Reilly. All right. Yeah, Pitts is at the line. He's going to be shooting a couple. All right, Pitts is for a shot. It's off the front of the rim and no good. He'll get one more. He's at, he dips, he shoots. Bang on the second one. All right, 25-23, Boston Latin. McManus with the ball. Back over to Mayella. Back to McManus. Into John Lynch. John Lynch takes it strong on a runner. And it's good. It would have been goaltending anyway. But it's good. Out of bounds, so it'll be Wildcat ball. Greg Mayella to put it in, and uh, Boston Latin's going to a little press up here. All right, McManus with the ball. Takes it right into the middle, gets it over to Stokes. Long pass to Otis. Finds McManus coming over. Back over to Otis. Down to Mayella. Way up high to McManus, inside to Lynch, uh, Flynn. Flynn takes it in strong, throws a runner. No good, but we're going to have a foul, I believe, on Fournier, number one. That'll be his second. That'll be the team's fifth. Both teams at five fouls apiece. And Eric Flynn's going to the line to shoot two. We're all tied up at 25 apiece with two minutes and 10 seconds to go here in the first half. Flynn's first shot is good. All right, 26-25, and Flynn's going to get one more. He's all set. He dips, he shoots. It's off the back of the rim and no good. All right. Furman with the ball. He gets it back over to Bryant. Back over to Furman. Down inside the Fournier. Way out to Bryant. He throws up a three. Air ball. Here's a bomb and a breakout to McManus. McManus goes strong. He lays it up and in. And he's fouled. He is fouled by number four, Pitts. The basket counts, and McManus is going to go to the line. He's going to get one. All right, a nice break out there. All right, Flynn on a nice breakout. He saw McManus on the fly, let him long and perfect. McManus takes his foul shot. No good. Rebound by Flynn. He's kicking the ball. He keeps it in over to Stokes. To Otis. Otis throws up a three. Off the front of the rim and no good. A little too anxious there. All right, here's Boston Latin with the ball. Freeman with the ball, and we're going to have a foul. All right. All right. 
right, McManus with the foul. That's the second to be Boston Latin ball. All right, Sanchez put it in. There's Bryant. He just pulls up, throws up a run. It's in and out. All right, we're going to have a foul from behind, I believe. Could be Bryant or it could be Furman. All right, we'll have to wait to see where this one's on. That's on number 10, Rodney Furman. That's his first. That's the team's seventh. So Wilmington will be in the bonus situation uh, the rest of the way. There's only one minute and 23 seconds to go. Flynn will be at the line shooting one on one. It's 28-25, Wilmington. All right, here's Eric Flynn. He's getting ready on his first shot. He dips, he shoots. It's good. All right, he's going to get one more. 29-25. Flynn's going to get one more. All right, he's set. He dips, he shoots. Foul on the rim, no good. Rebound, Meehan. All right, Bryant with the ball. Over to Pitts. Pitts taking it down the corner, kicks it back at the Bryant. Bryant is stepping around. Here's Furman with the ball. Furman gets it over to Bryant. Bryant back to Furman, back to Bryant. They're just playing with the ball up top here, back and forth over to Pitts. Pitts back to Bryant. Ooh, tipped away. Stokes picks up the ball. We're under a minute here. Here's Mayella. He pulls up and throws up a three, and it's good. Greg Mayella hands a big one. All right, 42 seconds to go. That was a big three for the Wildcats. All right, here's Bryant with the ball. We're at 35 seconds. Brian over to Pitts. Pitts looks like he's taking steps all the time. I don't know, maybe it's me. He throws a runner up, it's no good, and it goes out to Bryant. Bryant to Pitts, almost knocked out of his hands by Mayella. Pitts with the ball. All right, over to Bryant. 18 seconds, Bryant, he goes down to Furman. Furman pulls up, throws up a runner, no good. Rebound, Flynn, Stokes with the ball. Oh, and he loses it, gained back by McManus. It's out of bounds off Boston Latin. They're going to give the ball to the Wildcats. Latin coach not too happy with that. We got six seconds to go. Coach McCune's yelling one. They got six seconds. Here's McManus with the ball. Five. All right, he loses the ball. Pitts. Nothing there. Nothing. Confusion, confusion. All right, six seconds to go. You got to know where you are on the floor. Somebody's got to come and help. Should have got a shot off there. Could come back to haunt them. But anyway, we're at the end of one. And the score is Wilmington 32, Boston Latin Academy 25. We'll be right back with the uh, leading scorers uh, at the, at the halftime with the halftime report. Just stand by. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, right now at halftime out on the floor, we got the uh, Wildcats uh, cheerleading squad who've done a fine job supporting and backing the team all year long. And uh, hopefully uh, this isn't going to be their last appearance. Uh, hopefully the Wildcats can stay in the position they're at right now, go into the second half, keep the lead, pull away, put Boston Latin away, and. Uh, They'll get to do another halftime show Wednesday night in Revere. All right, here's the toss. Let's see what happens here. She's ready, boom, she's down, she's up. Nice maneuver by the Wildcats cheerleading squad. Good hard work and dedication by those girls all year long. They do it year in and year out. Little notice, but uh, well appreciated by the uh, people back in Wilmington. All right, we'll give you a quick rundown on the scores here at halftime. Uh, for Boston Latin, uh, Bryant had the total of eight points in the first half. Furman followed him with seven. 
Me and the big guy in the middle had five. Pitts, the other guy up top, had three. And Fournier, the forward, had two for a total of 25. For Wilmington, Eric Flynn in the middle, he had seven. Greg Mayelli has been hot from the outside all night. He's up there with nine, a big three-pointer right before the end of the first half. McManus, uh, he's been doing some nice damage on a couple of uh, running, uh, rolling layups there. He's got six. Johnny Lynch got four good ones. Dave Otis, he's got five, and Tommy Peck's got one for a total of 32. So the scoring uh, spread out uh, on the Wilmington side between six different players, and on the Boston Latin Academy side, it's spread out between five players. It was a real close uh, first half all the way. Both teams got the jitters out of the systems early, settled down, played a nice even tempo game. Uh, I think Boston Latin might have just had a couple of turnovers there that, uh, you know, if it went the other way, they might have had a couple of baskets, and this thing could still be all knotted up at the halftime. So right now it's anybody's game. It'll be a second half on uh, who wants it the most and uh, who's going to put their best guys out on the floor and plug away. Uh, by no means is uh, anybody's back to the wall right now. There's a long way to go. we still got the whole second half. And uh, hopefully uh, Wilmington can hang in there and uh, build on the seven-point lead that they have and uh, maybe just pull away. Uh, so stand by. Uh, we'll be right back with second-half action here from the... Uh okay, we're just about ready for second-half action here at the uh, Wakefield Fieldhouse. Scores 32-25, Wilmington will be Wilmington ball to start the second half. All right, Mayella puts it in play to Flynn. There goes Mayella strong to the backboard. He misses, tipped up by Johnny Lynch, and it's good. All right, 34-25. They get Bryant with the ball. He throws up a long three, no good. Rebound, Flynn. Over to Johnny Lynch, over to McManus. McManus bringing it over, taking his time. He finds Mayella. Mayella with the ball, looking for a cut. He finds John Lynch streaking, and he misses it on a layup. Nice play. Here's Bryant coming, storming back for Boston Latin. He throws up a runner. It's off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound Bryant on his own shot. No good. We're going to have a foul on number 22, I believe. All right, that's Mayella's first. Hi, Santos to put it in play. Into me and Pitts with a runner. No good. Rebound Mayella. Here's Mayella on a strong push. All the way. Takes it off the back of the glass and no good. And Bryant breaks right back out of the pack for Wilmington. Stolen from behind by John Lynch. Nice steal by John Lynch. Eric Flynn played that beautifully. He just dropped right down in the middle. Forced the big mistake. Here's McManus with the ball. He looks inside to Flynn. Flynn's going one way. He goes the other way. All right, and it's going to be Boston Latin ball. Those are the types of plays that right now Wilmington doesn't need. Got to be a little patient here. They're up by nine. Here's Bryant with the ball to Meehan. Meehan over to Pitts. Pitts with the ball. He looks down inside. He has it over to Fournier. Furman, I take that back. Oh, good. Here's Flynn. Flynn on a breakout. He's taken off to the races. He goes in strong, lays it up and off the glass and in. All right. Eric Flynn. 36-25. Wilmington up by 11 with 14 minutes to go here in the second half. All right. There's a long pass to Sanchez. It's no good. John Lynch at the ball. We're going to have a foul. I believe the foul is going to be on number 23, Meehan. All right. It's going to be Wilmington ball. That's Meehan's first. Here's Otis with the ball. He kicks it back up top to Mayella. Mayella being patient. Finds Johnny Lynch in the corner. Lynch looking and looking as a for a cutter. He beats his man inside. He lays it up and in. All right. 38-25 Wildcats with 13 minutes and 50 seconds to go. Here's Bryant back for Boston Latin. All right, he gets over to Santos, back out to Bryant. Bryant back over to Santos. 
to take that back. That's Fournier into me and over to Pitts. Pitts runs it and runner inside. The basket's going to count, and he's fouled. All right, the foul's on Lynch. That's his second. All right. Okay, so it's 38-27, and Pitts is going to get one. He dips. He shoots. It's off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound, Otis. Otis pulls it out. He gets in trouble. Gets it up to Flynn on a quick break up to Johnny Lynch. He looks back, though. He finds Mayella. Mayella lays it up, and he misses. Rebound me in. Another big basket would have been nice there for the Wildcats, but they're playing tough. All right, we got a charging foul going against number five, I believe, Bryant. All right, that's Bryant's third. The team's second here in the second half. Here's McManus with the ball for Wilmington. All right, he brings it down over to Johnny Lynch. He finds Mayella on a cut, he lays it up and in. A runner by Mayella. All right, it's 40 to 27 with 13 minutes to go here. Here's Bryant with the ball for Boston Latin Academy. He finds Pitts. Pitts takes the baseline, throws a backhander up. No good, Meehan follows, he lays it up and in. All right, there's a bomb to Otis, and he's not going to be able to catch up with it. All right. No need for that. No need at all for that. 40 29. Little anxious here. There's Bryant with the ball back for Boston Latin Academy. Over to Pitts. Pitts looking down inside. He finds Bryant Lee. Over to me, and me and uh, leans around for a hook shot. No good. And he's going to be on the arm um, foul by, I believe, Eric Flynn. All right, that's Flynn's second. The third on Wilmington here in the second half. McManus with the ball, 40 to 30. All right, here's Pitts with the ball. Nice recovery by John Lynch. 12 minutes and five seconds to go. Bryant with the ball. He gets up top to firm and he's down loud as Pitts. He goes all across the baseline, nothing there, and he pulls it right back out again over to Bryant. Bryant's looking over here to Ben Lee. He goes down inside instead to Furman. Furman with a fake. Up and in. All right. Wilmington with the ball, and they're going to call a timeout. Coach McCune doesn't like what he sees right now. Okay. All right. Falling asleep on the baseline. That's what Coach McCune is yelling to him right now. 40 32 is a quick turnaround. They're up by 15, and boom, we're right back to an eight-point ball game. Uh, I don't know what to say other than uh, it's easy for me to be up here looking down and seeing kind of these Mickey Mouse long bomb breakouts when you got a 15-point lead that I don't believe in. I'm sure Coach McCune doesn't believe in. There's no need for it. If the play is there and a clean breakaway, that's one thing. But when you're up by 15 and it's not there, you just take your time, you bring it up the floor, and you still take the shot that you want in the ball game. All right, let's see what the Wildcats can do when they come back out on the floor, see if they can tame Latin Academy down here. Latin made a nice run at them, but they control the boards the last couple of times down the floor. And uh, that's the difference. Okay, Mayella with the ball. Over to McManus. McManus gets it up to Otis. Otis taking his time. Over to McManus. Over to Flynn. 
He finds Mayella. Mayella takes it strong inside. Pops one. Off the back of no good. Rebound, Johnny Lynch throws a fall away up. There goes, oh, Eric Flynn misses on a nice fall up on a rebound. He's gonna be going to the line. We get a foul. We get a foul on number 11. That's gonna be Ben Lee. That's his first. That's gonna be the team's third here in the second half. All right, Eric Flynn, he's gonna be at the line. And he'll be shooting two. His first shot is good. All right, so Flynn makes good on his first one. He's gonna get one more. All right, Lee's out, number 15. Greeley replaces Lee for Latin Academy. All right, Eric Flynn's at the line. He's gonna get his second shot. He dips, he shoots, bang. All right. Eric makes good on both, 42-32 Wildcats with 11 minutes and 10 seconds to go here in the ball game. Pitts with the ball over to Bryant. Here's Fournier, he throws one up. Good, somebody's gotta get over on him. All right, McManus, he pulls up, he throws one up, it's in and out, no good, rebound, Flynn, he goes strong up inside, he misses again, he rips it out of his hands. All right, we're calling a jump ball, it's gonna go to Latin Academy, that's kind of a toughie. Good hustle down there. They're missing these uh, layups in the, underneath, they're gonna come back and haunt them if they don't stop putting them home here pretty soon. Here's Bryant with the ball for Latin Academy, gets it over to Pitts. Pitts gets it down to Greeley. Greeley looks inside to Meehan. Meehan lays it up off the glass and in. All right, 42-36. Here's Mayella running all over the place. The ball gets it to John Lynch, out to McManus. McManus with a quick push, pulls it up, looking for help. All right, he's got Flynn. Over to Mayella. Mayella with a runner, no good. Gets his own rebound, knocked out of his hands by Bryant. Here goes Bryant on a quick push. Kicked by McManus, that's all right, we'll take it. Stokes gonna come into the ball game right now. He's gonna replace David Otis. Okay, four big turnovers by the Wildcats in the last three minutes here. Here's me with the ball out to Bryant over to Pitts. Pitts with the ball, 10 minutes and 10 seconds to go. Greeley looks like he's gonna get called for steps. Good call, he took him. All right, here we go. Mayella putting the ball in play for Wilmington. He finds Lynch. Lynch in a quick push up through the middle. Finds Flynn on a breakaway. Bryant sticks his hands in there and just tips it away from Flynn. It's going to be Wildcat ball under their own basket. All right, Mayella to put it in play for the Wildcats. They're in a box up here. All right, it's up high to McManus. He pulls it out. They're deciding on what they want to go with. Eric Flynn with the ball. Flynn takes it up high. Gets it over to Stokes. Stokes down to McManus. McManus swings it up high to Mayella. Mayella with the ball. Over to Lynch. Johnny Lynch over to McManus. Over to Mayella. They're just swinging the ball around and we got a timeout. Timeout Wilmington. Okay. I don't know what that one's all about. Evidently they don't like what they're seeing right now as far as the defense goes for Latin Academy. And uh... Maybe Coach McEwen's gonna make an adjustment. My uh, key cameraman is giving me the signal here that it looked like uh, Latin was in a 2-1-2 that time. And apparently uh, some of the players didn't like what they were seeing and they gave the high sign to Coach McEwen. He gave me okay to call a timeout and I guess they're gonna make an adjustment here. And uh, be interesting to see what they can come back with. All right, looking across the way, uh, looks like the stands are filled in pretty nice. From what I can see, it's the Wilmington crowd. I don't know, uh, there's a little mixture there. I don't think it's too much. Would have been nice to see the stands filled with a little support from the town of Wilmington. But I think the people are slow in responding to the basketball program. And hopefully if you're watching this tape, we intend to get you up out of your seats in your living rooms next year and get you up to the high school and follow this team all the way. All right, Johnny Lynch with the ball back over to Mayella. Mayella swings it up top to McManus, over to Flynn. Flynn brings the ball up top, over to Johnny Lynch. Lynch with the ball, swings it back over to Mayella. Mayella over to McManus. Looks like Wilmington's gonna be content to just swing the ball around, chew up a little time, and uh, they're gonna make Latin come out after him. They're gonna make him come out after him. 
Ah, he's slim with the ball, gets it right back out to McManus. McManus moves the ball over, gets it back over to Mayella, back over to McManus. Gonna have to be careful that they don't telegraph the passes that they do make. You don't need anything fancy here. Just a lot of patience. There's Greg Mayella streaking down inside. He lays it up and in. What a play by Flynn and Mayella there. 44-36 with 8 minutes and 45 seconds to go in the ball game. All right, Bryant with the ball for Latin Academy over to Pitts. Pitts gets it down inside, and Meehan ends up with the ball. All right, we're going to have a foul here. And I'm going to have to wait to see what they call and how they call it. We got one on number 15, Greeley, for Latin Academy. All right, that's the fourth on Latin here. With eight minutes and 33 seconds to go, and Wilmington's got the ball in play under the basket. All right. Mayella looking and looking. He finds Stokes. Stokes on a long bomb to Flynn. Flynn on a continuation, but they're not going to call it anyway. It was a good hustle play back by Fournier to stop him going. That's Fournier's third foul. Okay, it's the fifth on Latin, and it's uh, going to be Wildcat ball under their own basket. Mayella to put it in play for the Wildcats. He finds uh, Flynn over in the corner over to Danny Godin. Danny Godin brings it up high, gets it over to Stokes. Stokes over to Mayella. Mayella looking, gets it up high to Godin. Back over to Mayella. Back over to Godin. Godin takes a step or two with the ball. Mayella goes over to help him into Flynn. Flynn's got nothing there. He pulls the ball up high, gets it back out to Mayella. Mayella swings it down over to Stokes, back out to Mayella. Okay, somebody's got to go over and help Mayella. He's standing over there by himself, cross court. Otis throws up a three, no good. Rebound, Danny Golden. He fakes this one. Flynn scrambling on the floor, Latin with the ball. Here's Bayan coming back to Mayella. Mayella stands his ground, and Bayan just tosses it up over him. Okay, not a good shot down that end for Wilmington. I might be a critic, but that's my feelings. They were swinging the ball nicely. You don't need a tree. These guys got to learn to be far more disciplined than what they are. All right, Golden with the ball. He gets it over to Flynn. Golden with the ball. He gets it down into Otis. Otis fakes a shot back out to Golden. Over to Mayella. Mayella with the ball. He throws up a tree. It's off the back of the rim and no good. Oh, he could have had a walk in there, but they didn't call it. Okay. I don't understand the three-point stuff, but I'm not the coach. Here we go, Bryant with the ball for Latin Academy. Over to Pitts. Pitts over to Bryant. Down inside to Fournier. Fournier connects on a three. 44-40. There you go, folks. Now we're in a four-point ball game. Wilmington second half pattern. It's like it's been all year long. Sloppy pass. Stolen away almost. Okay. Furman throws one up, it's no good, but he's fouled. Stokes with the foul for Wilmington. That's gonna be their fourth here in the second half. Stokes and Golden are out to replace by McManus and Lynch. Wildcats to me right now are just getting out of sync, going into some poor habits that they had earlier in the year in the second half. To take themselves out of a 15 point lead down to a four point lead with six minutes and 45 seconds to go. A lot of pressure being put on their guards by Latin Academy now, and I'm sure they're going to stick with that as they come down the stretch here. Okay, the first shot by Fernand is no good. He's going to get one more. 44-40 Wilmington, 6 minutes, 45 seconds to go. Here's Fernand's second shot. Off the front of him, no good. Big rebound in there. Thrown up by Bryant. Wilmington just can't hold on to the ball right now. Here's John Lynch. Over to McManus. Long cross court pass to Flynn. All right. Back out to McManus. Down in the corner to John Lynch. John Lynch and Derek Flynn. He rolls in strong. All right. We're going to have a foul here. It looks like it's going to be on number one, Fournier. That's going to be his fourth. All right. That's the fourth foul on Fournier. He's coming out. He's going to be replaced by number 12, Sansis. 
Okay, that's the sixth on Latin Academy. Two point ball game and Mayella's gonna put it in play for the Wildcats. All right, Mayella with the ball. He gets it into Otis. Otis selects the throw for three and it's good. All right, David Otis hits on a three. All right, Bryant right back with the ball for Latin. Over to Pitts, over to Bryant. Here's Fournier, he throws up, one off the side, no good. All right, it goes into Johnny Lynch's hands. He finds McManus long. All right, all right, he's calling up before the shot. That's gonna be on number four, Pitts, going up over his back. All right. All right, it's on Pitts. That's the se uh, seventh. And uh, McManus will be at the line. And I don't know if he's going to be shooting one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if he's going to be shooting two here. It's kind of one-on-one. We got a little jousting going on between Pitts and Otis underneath here. I'd be interested to see what that develops into. All right, McManus' shot is good. And he's going to get one more. These are biggies. These are the ones they got to keep connecting on. All right, Matt's going to get one more. He's all set, he dips, he shoots. Off the back and in front of the rim and good. Two big foul shots by Matt McManus, the senior guard out of Wilmington. And here's Bryant with the ball for Latin Academy over to Pitts. Pitts back over to Bryant. Orfonia, he throws up a three and he cans one. All right, we got the shootout at the OK Corral here. McManus breaks out of the trap. Over to Otis, here's Flynn. Storming in, he lays it up and in. Nice play by Eric Flynn. All right, and here comes Latin Academy right back. Bryant with the ball. 51-45, Wilmington. Pitts with the ball. Back out to Bryant. He pulls it back outside. Over to Furman. Furman back to Bryant. Wilmington's up by six with five minutes and 20 seconds to go. There's Furman again with a three. Off the back of the rim, no good. And there's Bryant on the ball, scrapping. He's got the ball back. Wilmington's got to start going after the ball and diving after the ball. They can't be standing there waiting for it to roll into the hands. All right. They're going to have a push off underneath by Flynn. Number 24, Eric Flynn. That's his third. That's the team's fifth. 5 one left to go in the ball game. Flynn can't be getting their Mickey Mouse fouls. 51-45, Latin with, uh, Academy with the ball. They look for me and coming in, it's gone off, uh, I guess, Greg Mayella's hands. And uh, Latin Academy will have the ball again under their basket. Okay, number 12, Sanchez will put the ball in play for Latin Academy. He's looking, he gets it into me and the big guy. Me and looking inside, he gets it back out to Bryant, out to Fournier, over to Pitts. I think they're going to look for the three in the corner with Fournier. It'll be interesting. There he is. He's got the ball. They jump out on him quick. Back to Bryant over the pits. He rolls it inside. Throws up a runner. No good. We got a foul on Mayella. All right. Wilmington not playing smart right here, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be the sixteen foul. Still going to be Latin uh, Academy ball with four minutes and 40 seconds to go. Sanchez to put the ball in play. He looks up high. Instead, he finds Fournier coming to the basket. Otis with the rebound. Throws it right back under the basket. Not a smart play at all. We're looking to get the ball out and away from the basket. These guys got to wake up. All right. Flynn's going down this end of the floor. Looks like he's going to be shooting one-on-one. -on -one. I hate to be a critic, but this is Varsity State Championship High School Basketball. Flynn's for a shot. Is around the rim and no good. Okay. Here's Bryant with the ball for Latin Academy over to Pitts. Pitts looking. He gets it to me and Meehan's way up high. Over to Sanchez. Back out to Bryant. Into Meehan. Meehan rolls it in. No good. They're looking for a foul over the back. Okay. Flynn's got to be careful. All right. There's Mayella on a breakaway. He loses the ball out of his hands. Okay. Furman got that last two. 51-47. Four minutes even to go in a ball game. Here's Pitts over to Sanchez. Sanchez is looking inside to Meehan. Meehan pulls up and pops. It's good. 
All right, we got substitutions coming into the game. Number 15, Greeley's back in. All right, McManus with the ball. He's looking up the floor, brings it up, gets it over to Johnny Lynch, up to Flynn. Flynn way over to Otis, back out to McManus. Over to Johnny Lynch. Lynch pulls the ball out high into Flynn. Over to Mayella. Mayella up high with the ball, being a little patient. They're trying to chew a little time off the clock. Something they could have done with a 15-point lead, but they elected not to do it. Johnny Lynch almost loses the ball. He finds Otis. Over to Mayella. Oh, inside, he finds... Okay, and missing the shot by Otis. There goes Pitts. Oh, McManus almost stole it, but they're going to call him on a reach-in. And Pitts will go to the line. He'll be shooting one on one. All right, that's McManus's third. Both teams will be in a bonus situation. All right, Coach McCune calls a timeout. Three minutes and four seconds to go. Wilmington's up 51 49. But you're going to see uh, Latin Academy go to the line here shooting one on one. Okay. Both teams huddling up here. Three minutes and four seconds to go. Wildcat cheerleading squad on the floor. Trying to put a little oomph behind the team here. All right. Hopefully that's gonna put a little spark here. What this has led up to be, folks, uh, you've been watching the game all along if you're just joining us is Wilmington had a 15 point lead with about seven minutes to go in the ball game and totally uh, impatient flying up and down the floor like they're losing by 15 uh, they let Latin Academy get right off the mat and crawl back into this game Latin Academy playing a strong game going after every rebound and uh, they've got it down to two and we've got uh, Pitts at the line here, he's gonna be shooting one on one. So uh, he can uh, not the score here. Here we go, Pitts is all set for his first shot. And he dips, he shoots. It's off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound Flynn, he finds McManus streaking out of there. All right, Mayella with the ball, swings it all the way over to Eric Flynn. Flynn with the ball. He gets it over to John Lynch. John Lynch takes it up high. Over to Eric Flynn. Flynn takes the ball up high. Gets it over to Johnny Lynch. Lynch with the ball. Okay, Latin's coming out. They're going to go man on man. They're coming out on everybody. Here's McManus with the ball. All right. We're going to have a foul inside of number 23, Meehan, for Latin Academy. That's going to be his second. All right, and Dave Otis will be at the line, one and one. They got to have the ball moving a lot quicker than they're doing right now. Otis's first shot is good. Big shot by David Otis, and he's going to get one more. It's 52-49 with two minutes and 31 seconds to go, and here's Dave's second shot. It's good. Two clutch shots by Dave Otis. They're biggies. All right, here comes Bryant right back for uh, Latin Academy with the ball. He gets it over to Pitts. All right, Pitts with the ball. He looks long and low inside, almost controlled by John Lynch on a lob pass inside. I don't know where he was going with that one. Maybe somebody's supposed to make it a move. Greeley putting the ball in play. Looks for me in, and we're going to have a foul on Eric Flynn. And that's going to be number four. That's number four on Flynn. Okay, 53-49. Meehan's at the line. He's going to be shooting one and one. It's a big foul against Flynn with two minutes and 14 seconds to go. Here's Meehan's first shot. It's off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound by Flynn. Okay. All right, Mayella with the ball. He gets it over McManus. Over to Flynn. All right. Johnny Lynch with the ball. He swings it to McManus. We got a weave and everybody's swinging around here. 
Flynn with the ball up high. He's holding it out. He gets it over to Mayella. Mayella with the ball over to McManus. Coach McCune is asking him to hold the ball. He's got the uh, Missouri crisscross going in here. And they try to throw the ball inside again. No need of it. One minute and 41 seconds to go. He saw the cutter. But, hey, I still say hold it out. I'm not the coach. I'm not out on the floor playing. It's easy for me to say it. Bryant with the ball, Latin Academy. He gets it to Greedy, back up to Bryant, over to Greeley. Greeley with a runner, no good. Right at the knee and hands, around the rim, no good. Right at the knee and hands again. Come on, Wilmington's got to fight for that ball, and they miss. And it's still going to be Latin Academy. One minute, 19 seconds to go. 53-49, Wilmington. That would have been a nice rebound for the Wildcats, but they got to keep plugging away. All right, Greeley to put it in play for Latin Academy. All right, Greeley looking. He's going to go way up high to Pitts. Pitts over to Bryant. Bryant steams it into the middle, over to Pitts. Pitts takes it in with a run off the glass. It's good, and there's a timeout by Latin Academy. All right, Pitts with a nice runner there. We got 53-51, one minute and 12 seconds to go. All right, Coach McCune pulls out the board, and uh, we'll see what he does. Looks like uh, Latin Academy coach is uh, suggesting that they come right out on top of the Wilmington players and stay out on them. And uh, we'll have to see what happens here. Key thing for Latin Academy so far, especially here late in the second half, uh, once they got back up off the mat here, is they just kept plugging away. They haven't been rattled at all. Uh, on the other hand, I think uh, Wilmington, eh, I suppose I could say they try to push it a little too much, but uh, as Coach McCune has indicated in the past, that's their style of play. He says, let them go. If they want to go, let them go. And uh, we'll see what happens here with a minute and 30, minute and 12 to go, I'm sorry. McManus with the ball being trapped. Gets it over to John Lynch. John Lynch gets it over, takes it into the middle, gets it back over to McManus. McManus swings it over to Flynn. We're going in the weave again here. All right, Flynn with the ball, nice going. He almost made a pass across, but saw the Latin player breaking towards it. Flynn with the ball. And we're going to have a foul on number 10, Furman. That's going to be only his second. That's going to send McManus to the line, shooting one on one. It's 53 51, 48 seconds to go. And uh, Matt's going to be at the line, shooting one on one. All right, everything's going to be big all the way here. These are key shots, pressure time. It's not the easiest thing in the world to be at that line at this stage of the game, but uh, we'll see what Matt can do here. His first shot is good. Mr. Clutchy here, coming down the stretch, Matt McManus. He hit two a minute ago. He hits his first one here, 54-51 with 48 seconds to go. Okay. All right, a little confusion here. McManus is going to get his second shot. All right, everybody's quiet here. He's set, he dips, he shoots. Bang, it's good. Big bat McManus comes through with two biggies. And here's Bryant, 45 seconds left to go in the ball game. 55-51. Pitts takes a runner in strong. It's no good. Me and could have been called over the back. No good. He throws it in. All right, 55-53, 35 seconds to go. Man, with a nice rebound there. Toss it right back up. We got a barn burner. Gonna go down to the wire. But that's what it's all about anyway. All right, 35 seconds to go. Wilmington's up by two. It's gonna be their ball. Okay, that was a quick push by uh, Latin Academy down the floor. And they pumped in the deuce there. 
About seven seconds it took him to get down the floor. Uh, interesting to see what happens now. If Wilmington can just get the ball in and get it up over half court, I think you're going to see Latin. Uh, they'll take their chances and they'll foul again. And uh, Wilmington's going to have to make their free throws. All right. Here they come. Wilmington's going to counter with Otis, Lynch, McManus, Flynn, and Mayella. These are the five guys that got them where they are. So here we go. McManus with the ball. He swings it around. He looks up the floor. He gets it over to Mayella. Mayella with the ball. Back out to Flynn. Over to McManus. McManus with the ball. He gets it over to Lynch. Down to Mayella. Mayella over to Flynn. Coach McEwen's yelling for them to hold the ball. There's McManus with the ball. He gets it into Flynn. Oh, seven seconds to go, six seconds. The ball's out of bounds. Just a little too high. They gotta keep their composure now. Okay, Latin Academy calls a timeout. No problem, six seconds. We got 55, 53. And Latin's gonna have the ball way down here under the Wilmington basket. And they've got, uh, they've got two choices. They can either go inside just for the deuce, tie it up, look for the foul. Seven seconds to go. And uh, we get overtime. They take it inside and score and get fouled. And uh, somebody can go to the line and uh, bang the winner home. All right, unfortunately, just a little high in the pass there. Six seconds isn't a lot of time. This is where the defense has to really dig in, put some pressure up here. Let's see what happens. All right, Tommy Peck's coming in the ball game for Wilmington. He's going to replace Otis. So we're going to have Peck, Flynn deep for Wilmington, McManus, Lynch, and Mayella up here. All right. Hey, here's something interesting. Bryant breaks to the ball. He's got it. Five, four, three, two, one. He throws up a prayer. He misses. It's no good in the wall. Catch all on a win. 55 to 53. A little hesitation shot there by Bryant. He had a nice straight honor. Just missed to the left of the rim. And I'll tell you, Wilmington can thank their lucky stars. They've done it on numerous occasions this year. But the key thing is, folks, they've hung tough. They pull it out. They win 55-53. Latin Academy, they're sending them home a packing. And uh, looks like the Wildcats are going to get down to Revere Wednesday night. And uh, we're going to let you know who they're going to meet up. So stand by. We'll be right by with the post-game show. Okay, this is Paul Cano reporting from Wakefield uh, Fieldhouse. We're an exciting Wildcat victory over Bo Latin Academy. Score was 55-53 to Wildcats. With me right now is uh, Headmaster and Principal of Wilmington High School, Paul Fleming. Paul, it's finally uh, finally happened. Wilmington Wildcats basketball won a tournament basketball game in a first time in the history of the school. I mean, we had Mike Lombard. We lost to Dom Savio, but we finally. Uh, trying to turn this basketball program around and Coach McEwen has really worked hard and his summer programs have really paid off and, and it's showing right now. Very good Paul. I couldn't be uh, more thrilled with the outcome here. I believe the young men have worked hard and as you say Coach McEwen is uh, kind of a taskmaster but he's, uh, he's very committed to the youngsters and to the town which I think is very uh, very important. I, I know he works all the way down into the seventh and eighth grade, and uh, as far as the high school is concerned, I hope this provides an incentive to the youngsters in the sixth and seventh grade to want to come up and uh, give some depth to a tradition that uh, might have started tonight. Okay, Coach McEwen in his third season. His first two were rough ones, six and 14, but his work has paid off. A foundation and winning season in a small school division the Merrimack Valley Conference as you know, is well-deserved and real hot. He had a major injury, losing Greg Cardell on the second game. He had to revamp his whole schedule. His whole training camp practically went out the window with that injury, and he reworked it, and we still come out 12, 12 and 8. We only lost the small school division by two games, 
to Lawrence, but we beat Lawrence for the first time in 15 years with two games. I saw many of the games, and I had the good fortune to see the second Lawrence game, and that certainly was uh, a real commitment uh, by the boys and the coach, certainly. And uh, we wish everyone well, and uh, as you know, I'm not exactly objective about any aspect of Wilmington High School. Certainly the basketball program uh, falls within that category, and uh, I couldn't be more enthusiastic and uh, excited tonight, Paul. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we'll see you, we'll see you at Revere Wednesday night. Okay, now we're going to have Coach McCune, Greg Maiello, and Eric Flynn. Okay. Okay, with me right now is uh, from Wakefield Fieldhouse is uh, Coach Jim McCune. Jim, you, you finally broke the ice here. The coach of Wilmington Wildcats, varsity basketball team, to the first playoff win in the history of the school. We went up by 15 in the second half, but we, had, we make it close to the end. And we, you know, as you say, you had to settle them down, but they got impatient with the basketball. Yeah, we ran into a little rut there where we just weren't able to run anything as far offensively. And uh, what we wound up doing is going to our delay game. We did, a, we did a good job for the most part, but we had a real tough time balancing the floor and getting things set. Once we got, got up the floor balanced and the offense set, we did a good job of moving the ball and cutting. Wound up, we got some foul shots, and we made the foul shots, which actually in the end saved, saved the game. Okay, you, you stressed during the season how important uh, the foul shots were, making the one-on-ones, especially coming down the stretch in the second half. And, we, you know, we can see it. We saw that watching the game with M uh, Matt McManus and Eric Flynn coming out and hitting clutch free throws. And really, the front ends of one-on-one -on -one really can tell a, a, tell a difference in a ball, ball game in high school basketball. Well, tonight, that's what won it for us, the foul shooting you know, from the line. The front ends are so important. That's a possible two points. And at the point of the game where we had it, we knew Boston Latin Academy was going to have to foul us to get the ball back. So, you know, Eric Flynn came through. He's been having some tough times at the foul line. And as far, if I wanted anybody at the line in our team, it would be Matt McManus. Matt McManus is the most clutch foul shooter that I've ever had in high school. Great foul shooter, great confidence. He gets to the line, we call him money. And he was money again tonight. Four for four in the last minute. Did a great job. Okay, coach, so uh, it doesn't stop here. We're going to Revere Wednesday night right away. We're facing uh, Teddy Bond and the uh, Charlestown Tonys. And that's a six o'clock game at uh, Revere High School. Okay, now, uh, thanks a lot, Coach McCune. Let's bring in Greg Maiello and Eric Flint. I'll stand right in the middle. Okay, with me right now is uh, both the high scorers from the Wildcats. Is uh, to my right is Greg Mayell, and to my left is Eric Flynn, both seniors. And uh, both wound up uh, scoring 13 points apiece. We had four players with double figures tonight, and we had a balanced attack. Greg, we went up by 15, but we got it got impatient as usual, and we uh, let uh, Latin Academy come right back, and they hit, they showed a lot of patience. They're not getting rattled. 15 down. Yeah, we're, well, we're known for uh, losing uh, the leads, but we hung in there. Now we're winning the close game, so it's good that we're going to the tournament like that. I think right now the game against Lawrence in overtime, that really gave this team yeah. confidence. We lost games in the beginning of the year just like that, losing at the end while I was on the short end. But that game in overtime, I think really got a lot of confidence in the team, and that's how we play. Yeah, I think that was a real turning point in our uh, season there. That was a huge win, and now we're just... Getting ready for Charleston because they play just like them. Okay, Eric, look, you've been battling underneath the ball. You're getting double teamed, and uh, you kept your patience out there because they were whacking you, and they were pulling you a shirt from behind trying to hold, hold you back. But you got your fourth foul with 2.30 to go, and then, uh, we saw from Coach Garrett in Latin Academy that he wanted to try to foul you out in the last two minutes. Oh, Greg and them help out rebounding, so I don't have to, you know, do all the work underneath there. And you know, we just did a real good job on the defense, or you know, a lot of long rebounds, and you know, took care of it from there. But it's all up to Greg and them to help on the rebound, and so I can just like take care of the big man. All right, both these guys are being recruited by Division three schools, maybe a Division two down the line. They work real hard, and uh, we're we're going uh, we're going to uh, uh, Revere High School Wednesday night, six o'clock, playing Charlestown against Teddy Bond. Leading the, leading the way, and we need all the fan support. Yeah. So uh, let's support the Wildcats. Six o'clock, Revere High School, Wednesday night. 
All right, kid. Huh? Okay, with the final scoring totals, Johnny Lynch with eight points. Matt McManus with 10 points. Greg Maiello with 13 points. Eric Flynn with 13 points. David Otis with 10 points. And Tommy Peck with one point for 55 points.